What's going on guys? As you know, I'm a huge fan of Kevin Durant. I've got a bunch of KDs in my collection. I probably got like 10. He's one of my favorite players, uh, mainly because he was drafted by the Sonics. The second overall over Greg Oden. Thank you, Portland, for taking Greg Oden instead of Kevin Durant. But screw you to Clay Bennett for saying you're going to keep the Sonics in Seattle and then buying them and shipping them to OKC. Actually, don't screw you. Fuck you. But yeah, KD was drafted by the Sonics. People forget that. Anyways, let's get to his eighth signature shoe with Nike. First off, the whole entire upper is engineered mesh. You guys might have seen that in the Kobe 9 EM. That's what EM stands for, engineered mesh. There's fuse on the toe box, which is a feature of the KD7 as well. So it looks like they incorporated that to the KD8. KD8 just sounds really weird to say. They, it looks like they still have the same KD logo from the 7 on the KD8 tongue. So that looks the same to me. It might be a little bit different, but who knows? There's Flywire holding them into place. Really sad to see the strap leave, but we'll see how these hold down your foot. The lockdown on the KD7 was really good, so hopefully there's something incorporated in the KD8 to hold your foot in place. They took away the hyperposite material from the heel counter. They added a TPU heel counter that is supposed to hold your heel in place when you're moving around. And KD actually, he really didn't like the hyperposite. It caused him some discomfort from what I'm hearing. And that's why he played most of last season in the KD6 because of what he played because he got injured at the end. Um, yeah, he played in the KD6 because the hyperposite material on the KD7 uh, was hurt, was like injuring his foot or it wasn't very comfortable or something. So they took away the hyperposite and they added a TPU heel counter. And it looks like they added a Air Max, like it looks like the whole midsole was an Air Max unit, which I haven't seen on a KD before. Um, the KD7s had like a 180 Air Max unit in the heel of the KD7, but this looks to be like a maybe a 360 Air Max unit, like the LeBron 10. So look out for that. That could be cool. The traction looks a lot different than other KDs, um, but all the KDs are pretty well known for having good traction. I don't see how the traction on the KD8 is going to be any different. But overall, I think I really like this model, um, strictly for basketball shoes. I don't see myself wearing these casually. Yeah, it kind of looks like an Air Max, but I just don't see myself wearing these anywhere other than the basketball court. I usually like all red shoes, but there's something about this model that I don't really, I'm not really feeling it. Maybe I just need to see more colorways of this shoe. Maybe it's just the colorway that I don't really want to rock. So be on the lookout for these. I think they are dropping in July. So stay tuned for the KD8 to drop in July. If you're feeling these, go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me what you like about them. Tell me what you don't like about them. Subscribe for more videos. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen my giveaway that's going on right now, go ahead and check out my last video. Once I hit 500 subscribers, the giveaway is ending and I'm gonna pick a winner. So go check that video out. I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Peace guys.